Has Arno turned right after G13? To a certain extent, yes. Uh, and I don't think that is good for Barisan National. Yeah. And I think we really have to undo it now, now that AMNO election is over. We really have to undo that. And that is why I thought uh, one of the strategy would be to relaunch the new economic model. There seems to be a, a different sort of tone, like, you know, in terms of the right wing seems to be louder. Mm. So what's your take on that? I mean, is it back to square one or how? Uh, there are two things here. First of all, I think uh, some UMNO leaders uh, at that moment in time were still trying to uh, uh, understand uh, or appreciate well, what, what was happening uh, in the GE uh, 13. For some, it is quite traumatic, I must say. Yeah. Um, so they were trying to, you know, um, and it's not easy sometimes for they to, for them to say things, yeah. Uh, which I can understand, but unfortunately, it's not good for the party, yeah. <laughs> yeah? Number two, immediately after GE thirteen, people start gearing for AMNO election. Yeah. So I can understand uh, some of the pronouncements, some of the statements made by people. Uh, uh, because they were, uh, you know, s relating to AMNO delegates. Uh, probably that is a smart thing to do uh, in as far as AMNO politics is concerned, but I'm not very sure whether that is actually uh, helpful in as far as AMNO and in particular Barisan National. Uh, in facing GE14. This is because Malaysians uh, sometimes don't easily forget what you say. Mm. 